You may have seen these pictures in the press together with the story how Scan and Solve is changing the future of structural simulation. Well, the future is here, and you can do the structural simulation yourself in Rhino. Let's take a look at how this works. So here we are in Rhino. Let's go to File, Import, and choose the file to open. Choose the default meters. And here we see our geometry. Rhino's what command will give us more information about this geometry? We see it's a valid, closed polygon mesh with 1.7 million polygons. Let's zoom in and see some of the detail. You can see the mesh carries quite a bit of detail on David's head, his hair, his hands, his eyes. Let's take a look at the detail on the base. We see that there's quite a bit of detail on the rock, the tree trunk, as well as his feet and legs. Conservation efforts revealed cracks in the statue's lower extremities. These cracks have been attributed to a three-degree tilting of the statue forward and to its right due to subsidence in the statue's foundation during a 20-year period in the middle of the 19th century. Let's see what Scanansolve can tell us about this. Since gravity acts in the negative Z direction, we'll rotate the statue forward three degrees. and to his right, 3 degrees. To begin analysis, we type SNS mesh at the command prompt and select the mesh geometry. In the scan and solve dialog, we choose the material, in this case, marble. And then we specify where the statutes fix the base. We choose Add, Restraint, and select the facets at the bottom of the model. So now we want to specify some loads. We're not going to specify any boundary loads, but we are going to see how it acts under gravity. We choose a resolution, and click Go. So we'll fast forward through the solving process. When it's done, we go to the View tab, and we can look at the results. So here we're looking at danger level computed using the Rankin failure criterion, which is a failure criterion used for brittle materials like marble. Switching to the advanced view, we adjust the legend maximum to 0.5. This corresponds to a factor of safety equal to 2, and regions where the danger level is greater than 0.5 are then highlighted in red. We can observe that the highly stressed regions correspond to the locations of the cracks we observed earlier. Zooming out and using the deflection slider, we can observe the magnified deflection of the statue under its own weight. Animating the deflection using the slider, we see the statue appears to be hinging along a pivot axis passing through his ankles. The section plane can be used to investigate the stress state inside the statue. We turn the section plane on and flip the orientation to investigate the interior from above. The slider allows us to position the section plane at will.
If we switch to the maximum principal stress component, we can see where the statue's material is under tension. We can also switch the legend scale to show the stress field with more contrast. Switching to the minimum principal stress component shows us where the material is under compression. Again, we can switch to the legend scale to show the field with more contrast. Though the statue is mostly red, this is fine, as red corresponds to relatively low tensile values. The regions tending toward the blue end of the scale are compressive stresses, which can be fairly substantial without causing problems for the marble. Let's try this now with the statue in its original orientation. We choose again the material, marble. We add restraints, I choose an add. We select the bottom facets where the statue is affixed to the base. We specify a gravity load, choose a resolution, and click go. We fast forward through the analysis. When it's ready, we click the View tab to view the results. By switching to the Advanced View tab, we can adjust the legend upper limit to 0.5 to correspond to a factor of safety equal to 2. This matches the limit we set for the analysis on the tilted statue. We can compare the two analyses side by side and see the significant reduction in danger level achieved by restoring David to Michelangelo's original intent. On the left we see the danger level in the tilted orientation. On the right we see the danger level in the intended orientation, as it is today. You can try these types of analysis for yourself by downloading Scan and Solve for Meshes from ScanandSolve.com.